Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Sohini from South Bay, California and today's topic is this. Week 1 of Build Your Own Research Internship or Literature Review. Let's get straight to it. So today I will be explaining the major differences that you would generally see between a project and a research paper so that then you are able to understand and appreciate these differences and work accordingly in this research internship. Now one key understanding or one key difference between an engineering project and a research paper is the fact that a research paper is geared to ask interesting questions and then lead to the answers towards those hypotheses and the questions. Whereas an engineering project is straight away geared towards answering an important question at hand. So what, what I want to, to help is inculcate the behavior or to, to inculcate the practice of asking stimulating research questions and then going ahead with giving practical solutions towards them. So let's look at some, some sort of similarities that you would see between a research project and a research paper uh, per se. So ideally the similarities would be a clarity in methods, so both would have a system set up, apparatus, methods and applications. There would definitely be a flow and of course you would need to do modular assessment, so if the whole method has a different modules you would need to assess each module this separately. And of course, you would need a, a training if it's uh, anything to do with uh, machine learning. So d data science, machine learning, artificial intelligence, there will be a training set where you understand the hyperparameters. So you, you kind of uh, an analyze the different parameters that, and its effect to the, to the model. However, the key differences are two. First of all, in a research paper, there's always an ablation study. An ablation study is, is sort of like a sensitivity analysis of different parameters to the model. For example, in key deep learning methods, an ablation study could be if the convolution neural network had fewer layers or if it had more layers, how would be the outcome or what would be the difference? So this is sort of giving you the sensitivity of the model to you know, increased or, or decreased number of layers and that is a part of ablation study. The other key difference between a, a normal engineering project and a research paper is baselining or there has to be a baseline method which allows for comparative assessment and also helps gauge for incremental improvement. So in this project that you do build your own research internship, I want you to understand that these two parameters will be key in getting your final research uh, project as close as possible to the, to the acceptable research community standards by having a baseline method and an ablation study to them. Now, what do you have to search? You need to start search for three things. One is the paper, the code and the data and I will show you how to do each and every one of them in a minute. Now what are you looking for and where are you looking for? First of all for the papers you need to look into a Google Scholar search. A an example search that I will do today will be the data augmentation of medical images right and what ideally you need is of course you would need a downloadable version of the paper you would need a joining data and code sometimes that is embedded in the in the author's website sometimes it is in github or sometimes it could even be a link in the paper you would need to find the most recent paper first in that domain and then follow the introduction and related work so how research community works is the most recent works are supposed to give a, a very detailed related work or, or literature review as to what is already existing. So if you just follow that, you should get the most uh, relevant you know, existing uh, literature that is out there by reading the most recent paper first. And then you need to go into the most cited papers because of course they become the landmarks or the major baseline methods or for comparison in most cases. Of course, you should do a Google search. That's the second thing here. Um, in this case, you might get a paper link for download. You might also get to look for public data sets and understand their formats. Uh, for instance, if you do a, a Google search on autonomous driving data set, you, you will get Kitty data set is the most prominent. So in these cases, you get to know and get accustomed to the data and format. And of course, you could look for code from the authors. 
And finally, and most importantly, you need to do a GitHub search pertaining to the codes and the dependencies. So if you see something is Python and it requires Python 2.7 or more, uh, or if it requires pandas or certain SK learn formats, so then you know that those are the dependencies that you first need to install in order to run that code. And of course, you need to get what is the training data and what is the test data that you will be looking at. Finally, what we need to do in these two weeks is first of all, you need to summarize the research papers in three sections. First is goal. What problem does the paper solve? What is the research gap that it resolves? And what are the sample application areas? In this case, what you could show is something that works maybe in a computer vision realm. Uh, and we will show that how an easy GAN, which is used to take a segmented image to original image, can actually be used in the medical image domain. So that's that's why you can actually use the same method, but in a different application area and, and still be novel. So ide ideally, you should be able to give uh, a change to the methodology to improve its performance or be able to give an out of the box solution that is by applying uh, a method from one domain into another. And of course, you need to understand step by step what the method is doing in the paper. You need to identify some areas that you can bring improvement or like I said, you should be able to translate the method to another domain altogether. And finally, you need to look into the results. Do you understand each and every output metric? Is there something in this metric that you do not understand? Some examples could be IOU or intersection over union in uh, the bounding box detection algorithms or uh, MAPs, that is average precision. These are some of the newer metric in the computer vision and applied machine learning, deep learning realm. So if you're not sure what these metrics are, do a deeper research as to what these metrics mean and how to evaluate them. Finally, you need to come into such confidence about these articles that you should be able to replicate the experiments and results if you choose to baseline them. So this is how we do the search of the papers, uh, data and code. First of all, in Google, if we go ahead and type data augmentation in medical images, and we do the same thing on Google Scholar, and on GitHub, right? So I have three windows open and this is showing how the search appearance uh, for each and every three of the sources that I talked about. So let's look at the Google search first. So you will see that of course there are some papers, um, some could be just research gate, gate posts and uh, you know, some could be blogs, it could be um, you know, towards data science. So some of those articles might show up as well. Uh, let's look at one of the, of, of, of the related articles from the top and this is a paper again uh, this is published again 2016 and it talks about the different uh, data augmentation tasks for for medical images um, and I will show you how to actually go over this as a sample uh, on the on the Thursday assignment but for now what I wanted to show is uh, some of the key outcomes that, that you see so this this paper also looks as at, at CNN so it's it's convolutional neural network and it's actually looking at a, a typical uh, CNN or a VGG 16 network uh, churning through this looking for pathology in, in medical images and what it does is again uh, you will see very hyperparameterization and, and everything but then you will see that how um, the, the data augmentation is actually helping uh, pathology detection so in this case what they're doing is they're just taking uh, noisy samples and then uh, they are being cleaned uh, by using different spatial filters uh, and along with some shear flip zoom uh, and all of those actions and the, what the conclusion is is they're showing that augmentation is actually improving uh, performance uh, of, of uh, pathology detection. So this would be a relevant paper if this if you are looking into augmentation in, in the medical imaging domain. Now for the Google Scholar, what you are interested in are the papers that, that you see from here. So whenever you see a link on the right hand side, then that would actually take you to the paper directly. What I would uh, what I would motivate you all to do is look at as recent papers as possible and try to not look at anything which is older than five years. So typically never go uh, to 2015 and behind uh, if uh, unless you have to. So here if I say that 
you, you know, show me only images, which is 2019 and beyond, you will actually see the most relevant papers in their related related work section, which is always going to be in, in most of the uh, high quality papers. And finally, you whenever you go to the GitHub, uh, let's say uh, I give you an example. So this is a, even using the same methods. Uh, so this is actually looking at, at GAN, so generative and adversarial networks. And uh, this is uh, showing that the different GAN uh, connections in order to augment the data uh, so that you can actually get better classification segmentation results for pathology. So here you're actually looking for tumor. So in this way, if you if you conduct your, your search parallelly on Google, on Scholar, as well as on GitHub, you are going to converge to the optimal set of papers, code, and data that you require to do your research internship. So on Thursday, we will be looking at a sample for the topic that I had sele selected. Good luck. Hey, so you're still here. Don't forget to give a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and share this video.